Hey there everybody, welcome to a game of History Maker Baseball. This game is another one in the series that I'm doing to honor some of the content creators that put out sports games on YouTube. And this one is for Rob! Exclamation point. He is a 2008 Philadelphia Phillies fan. So tonight we bring out, or today as you're watching it, or whenever you're watching it, we bring out History Maker Baseball and History Maker Baseball 5.0. And we're gonna be at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia for this game between the 08 Phillies and the 1977 Kansas City Royals. So let's meet the starting lineups. And then I'll also, before the game starts, I'll go ahead and move the umpires into space as well so you can see those. And then when the game starts, I'll move them off camera. Right now, starting pitcher for the Phillies will be Jamie Moyer, and the reason I'm not using Cole Hamels is because Rob asked me not to. So this is Jamie Moyer, uh, semi-star, semi-control. The 2008 set is one I created myself. That's why the cards look a little different than the cards from Play.com uh, for the 77 season that I bought from them a while back. So that's Jamie Moyer. And starting for the Royals is Dennis Leonard, and I did corner round the 77 set so that's why they have the rounded edges. And Dennis Leonard, star flash and control for the Royals. We will be doing a DH even though it's at Citizens Bank Park because back in 77 there was no, I mean, there was no interleague play. So the pitchers never got to hit and I didn't think it would be fair to have um, them do that. So with that in mind, let's look at the starting lineups for both teams. First for the Philadelphia, I'm sorry, for the visiting Kansas City Royals. Freddie Patek will lead off at short. Hal McRae is the DH. George Brett's at third. Al Cowens is in right field hitting cleanup. John Mayberry is at first base hitting fifth. Amos Otis in center will hit sixth. Joe Zed will be in left field and he'll bat seventh. Batting eighth and catching is Daryl Porter. And batting ninth at second base is Frank White. And let's see, for the Phillies, their lineup will look like this. Jimmy Rollins will lead off at short. Shane Victorino, the flying Hawaiian, will be in center field hitting second. Chase Utley at second base will bat third. Jason Worth in right field will bat cleanup. Ryan Howard will be at first base. He will hit fifth. Pat Burrell is in left field. He will hit sixth. Pedro Feliz is at third base. He will hit seventh. Greg Dobbs is the DH. He will hit eighth. And Chris Coast is behind the plate rather than Ruiz because Coast had some better numbers. So Chris Coast is behind the plate. Now look at the umpires. We have Derwood Merrill behind the home plate. We have Jim Evans it, at first base. And Derwood Merrill is semi-strict. Jim Evans semi-lenient. Ron Luciano is respected at second. And Jim, uh, Bill Deegan is semi-lenient, semi-questionable at third. So I try to get one of every trait. So we got a strict, a respected, uh, two lenients and a questionable in there with some dots. So try to get a variety and that's what we've got All right, so we're just about ready to get this game going. Um, I did kind of just uh, Since I'm not doing a season or anything. I just did a one-off. This is a one-off So what I did is made both teams by default semi-harmonious as if I would on opening day for a season They're both semi-harmonious and I'm using the Steve Tower method of number two batter is hot and number eight batter is cold Citizens Bank Park plays normal to righties and semi-small to left-handers. All right, so let's move the umpires out of the way a little bit more. And let's see about getting some of the score sheet in there as much as you can, as well as the playbook. Probably won't be able to fit everything in there because it's just too far away. So I'll show what I can of the playbook. And then the score sheet, we'll just have to zoom in on that later on. All right, Rob, this is for you, Rob, exclamation point. And Freddie Patek will be leading things off. And I'm going to roll right here on the book. So Freddie Patek, the shortstop, will lead things off here against the left-hander Jamie Moyer. And this game for Rob, exclamation point, is now underway. 1-2-4. One, 1-2-4 two, four. One, two, four is control. And Moyer's got semi-control. Desired Eye says he has control. So it is a ground out to short. Patek grounds to his counterpart, Jimmy Rollins, and that's one away. And we're underway here at Citizens Bank Park. Here's Hal McRae, the DH. We get a 2-4-4. 2-4-4. Is he an ace? No, he's not. Is he a champion? No, he's not. 
It's ground out to short unless he's a whiffer. He is not a whiffer. So again, another ground ball to Jimmy Rollins, and we've got two up, two down for George Brett. 4-4-5. Four, 4-4-5. Four, five. Four, four, five. Is he a workman? No, he's a semi-star. Is Brett patient? No, he's got a good eye, but he's not patient. So he's going to ground to first, and Ryan Howard will take it to the bag himself. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Jamie Moyer. No problems whatsoever. And now that sends up Jimmy Rollins to lead it off against Dennis Leonard. 1-2-5. Leonard is not a struggler. Is Jimmy Rollins patient? No, he's not. He's going to ground to third unless he's a whiffer. He's not a whiffer. So he's just going to ground it to George Brett for out number one. And that brings up Shane Victorino, the flying Hawaiian. 4-4-5 four, four, is Leonard a workman. No, he's not. He's a star. Is he patient? He is semi-eager, so he's not patient. So he will ground to first. John Mayberry makes the play. Two up, two down for Chase Utley. 235, 235. Is he wild? No, uh, he's got control. Is the batter eager? No, he's not eager. So he's going to ground to second unless he's patient. He is not patient, so the ground to second. Handled by Frank White. It's a 1 2 3 inning for both pitchers here in the first. And we go to the second. It'll be Al Cowens, right fielder. 1 3 5, and that's the unusual play. A red one and a black five. Leads us to box and bogeys. Red one and a black five, box and bogeys. So we're rolling the box and bogeys chart. We get a 2 4. 2 4 says lead base runner collides with fielder trying to make the put out. Gold glove hangs on for out. Other loses ball runner safe. So this is one of these ones on these charts where it doesn't really tell you enough information. Um, it's kind of an error on the, in the book as far as I'm concerned. Because one, it doesn't give you a situation what to do when there's no lead runner because the batter would have to be the lead runner. And it doesn't tell you who it's hit to. So it just says gold glove hangs on for the out. Well, how do you know who the gold glover to check is? Because there's no, it's not saying who to check it for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the D6 and we'll see who the fielder is. It's a two, so it's in front of the catcher. It's a little dribbler in front of the catcher. And the catcher is Porter. He is not gold. So since he's not gold... Runner is safe. So that's uh, all that really doesn't get the, that really doesn't do the uh, spirit of this check here, I don't believe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to override that and just re-roll it, call it a foul ball and keep driving because that one just doesn't make sense. There are a couple of items in the, in the playbook that are like that where you, you kind of scratch your head and say, How, what, do, what do they mean by this? So maybe that's something uh, Keith or whoever can look into to get some clarifications. Or people just make their own house rules, I guess. So that's what I just did. One, two, three. Flash and fresh. Moyer does not have the flash quality. So it will be a ground out to short as Cowens grounds to Rollins for out number one. Here's John Mayberry. One, two, six. Is he fresh? Yes, we're in the second inning, so he's still fresh. And that's a line out right to Utley for out number two. So Mayberry is gone. And here's AO, Amos Otis. Otis, my man. 223. Moyer's not wild. Is he a slugger or utility? He is semi utility, but the sire die says no. So that means he's going to single to left field. Active runner would steal. He is semi active. The sire die says no. So it's just going to be a single for Amos Otis. First hit of the game for the, either team. A two out single by Otis. And here's Joe Zed. 224, pitching at home. Yes, he is. It's a pop out to short. So that's the one roll where the home field advantage and advantage is given to the home team on that 224 roll. And Phillies took advantage of it. That's going to end the inning. So we go to the bottom of the second, and here's Jason Worth leading off against Dennis Leonard. 366, he is not a pinch hitter, so he's going to fly to center. One away. And that brings up Ryan Howard. Howard, 344. Prospect. No, Dennis Leonard's certainly not a prospect. He's neutral. Is he patient? He's semi patient, but the sire die says no. So it's a pop out to second. Frank White calls it in. Two up, two down for Pat Burrell. 366, six, same roll again. Not a pinch hitter, so he's going to fly to center. Boy, it's unusual to roll that twice in the same inning. 
I, sometimes I go a whole game without rolling it at all. So, very unusual. But we go to the third, no score. And here's Daryl Porter, number eight hitter. 355. Struggler or Gilded, Moyer is neither. Champion, he is a uh, semi hero but not a champion. So, therefore, he's going to ground to second uh, unless he is a whiffer. He's a semi whiffer, Desired I says he is. So, instead of grounding to second, he will get rung up by Jamie Moyer. One away, and here's Frank White. 1 3 4. Gold catcher. Coast is not a gold catcher. Is the better champion? No, he's not a champion, so we have outfield drama for the first time. First time to go to the drama charts. Outfield drama, 6-6. Six, six. Right fielder, iron. Right fielder is worth. He's actually gold, so he will not misplay a ball to drop for a double. It'll be a routine flyout, and that's out number two. So two up, two down. That brings up the top of the order, and Freddie Patek grounded to short his first trip. One, two, five. He's not a struggler. Is he patient? Patek is actually semi-eager. And he's going to ground to third unless he's a whiffer. He's a semi-whiffer. Desired I says he's a whiffer. So Patek will strike out. And Jamie Moyer, three shutout frames against the powerful 77 Royals. Doing well so far. But for, unfortunately for Jamie Moyer, the Phillies haven't done anything against Leonard either. Here's Pedro Feliz. Pedro Feliz Navidad. 246, is he, let's see, does he have control? Yes, he does. Leonard does have control. So it's a ground out back to Leonard for one away. And that brings up the DH, Greg Dobbs. 236, double control. He does not have it. It's a walk. So first base runner for the Phillies is a walk to Greg Dobbs with one out. And that'll bring up Chris Coast. See if he's the eye opener or not. 355, struggler, no. Is he champion? No, he's not champion. So he's going to ground to second unless he's a whiffer. He is a whiffer, so he will strike out for out number two. Takes us to the top of the order for Jimmy Rollins. Rollins, one, three, five. It's a black one, so we're going to Citizens Bank Park. Jimmy Rollins is batting left-handed, so the park is playing semi-small. See if Jimmy Rollins can get into one. Six, six. Small ballpark, well hit ball, home run king hits home run, others fly out. Well, it is a small ballpark because the sire die makes it a small ballpark, but he's not a home run king. So since he's not a home run king, he's going to fly out on the warning track. So warning track power by Jimmy Rollins. And that's going to end the inning as Al Cowens makes the catch. So we go to the fourth, and both pitchers, actually they're going to go, they get... Uh, Let's see, Leonard actually gets four innings of freshness because of the older season. I'll go ahead and play it. I'll go ahead and play it with where they're semi-fresh now, both pitchers. Just so the older pitcher doesn't get the advantage. Here's my whoops, it would help if I'd roll all three dice, wouldn't it? So here's Hal McCray. One, four, six, flash. Uh, Moyer does not have flash. Is he a champion? No, he's not. He's gonna ground to second. So McCray grounds to Utley. One away, and that brings up George Brett. Brett grounded to, to Howard his first time up. 1-4-4, four, four, uh, Flash. He does not have Flash. Is he a hero? George Brett is a semi-champion, but not a hero. So he's going to ground to short unless he's a whiffer. He's not a whiffer, so Rollins will make the play. Two up, two down, and that brings up Al Cowens. 2-3-6, that's double control, another walk. His neither pitcher has the double control quality. Brings up John Mayberry. Three, four, five. Iron catcher. No, Coast is not iron. Does he have a good eye? No, he doesn't. He's going to strike out, and that's going to end the inning. And that's in blue, so we're going to the right now chart for the first at bat of the bottom of the fourth. Shane Victorino, the flying Hawaiian, grounded out his last time up, and Rollins flew out, so for Leonard, he is neutral as well. So we've got neutral against neutral. On the right now chart. 1-6. Hot pitcher. No, he's not hot. If he was, he'd get a ground ball to short. Otherwise, batter line's a clean single pass second base. So, how about that? Shane Victorino. Because Leonard was not a hot pitcher, he got a base hit. So, Victorino's aboard. He is active. So, he can certainly do some running. 
if Utley can put the ball in play. Here's Utley. 2-2-4, two, two, pitching at home. Nope, not going to help Leonard. He's on the road. Is he a slugger? He is a semi-slugger, but the sire die says no. So in other words, it's a single to right field. Active runner steals. He's not active, but it is a single. And let's check runner advancement. Runner advances one base on a single. So Victorino will have to stop at second base. So runners are at first and second with one away. I'm sorry, with nobody out. They're just first two batters. And we're in blue again. So we're going back to the right now. And this time, Leonard is semi-cold and Worth is neutral. So semi-cold against neutral. And they're both neutral. Five, six. Hot pitcher, no. Shows best stuff. Retire and alternating ground outs and fly outs if he was hot. He's not. So it's infield drama. So we're going to our infield drama chart. And test the infielders for the Royals. Three, five. Third baseman, iron. No, George Brett is not iron. He's actually gold. If he was iron, it would be a single in the left field. Otherwise, routine ground out. And with a lead die of three, it's a fielder's choice. So in this case, fielder's choice. Let's see. I think he, let me see if he steps on third or whether he goes to second. Uh, let's see here what the chart says. Chart here. Runner at second and third. I mean, lead die is a three. Runner at second and third. Lead die of three. Out at first. Runners advance. Okay. Wait a minute. Not out at first. That can't be right. Runner on second and third. Lead die is a three. You don't advance on the three. It's a fielder's choice. So that doesn't look right either. Unless I'm misreading something. No, no, it's first and second. I was looking at first, second and third. Never mind. First and second, fielder's choice, runner to third. Okay. So they're playing it as a 5-4 fielder's choice. That's how they're going to score it. So he cannot step on the bag. So Victorino will be safe at third base. And Worth reaches on the fielder's choice. So we got runners on the corners with one out. And Ryan Howard up. And the Royals looking for the double play ball on Howard. 2-2-6. Hit by the pitch, yes, th th there's a dot there, so Ryan Howard gets plunked. And that's going to load the bases, and that doesn't make Ryan ha Howard very happy to get plunked. But the, now the bases are loaded with one out for Pat Burrell. Royal still trying to turn two. Four, six, six. Four, six, six, control, yes. Leonard has control, so it's a pitch red single to left field. How about that? And with Lee die of four... That's a two-base advancement. So it's a two-run single for Pat Burrell off of Dennis Leonard. And the Phillies now lead it by the score of two to nothing as Victorino and Worth both come around to score. And Howard will somehow lumber to third. So runners on the corners with only one out still for Pedro Feliz. One five six. Is he a whiffer? He yes, he's a semi-whiffer. Decided I says he's a whiffer. So that's out number two, and that brings up Greg Dobbs. One, two, two. One, two, two. Is he a workman? No. Is he a champion or a whiffer? He's a semi-champion. Decided I says he's a champion. So he's going to nub an infield single to third base, and that's going to score the third run of the inning. So how about that? He beats out an infield hit. Ryan Howard scores. Burrell goes to second. Phillies lead it three to nothing here in the bottom of the fourth for Chris Coast. One, two, three, flash and fresh. Yes, he is flash and fresh, so it's a strikeout. Inning's over, but three runs for the Phillies, and they take a 3 nothing lead after four. So we go to the fifth. Jamie Moyer still shutting down the Royals. Four, four, five. He's not a workman. Is he patient? He is semi-patient. Desired I says he's patient, so he will walk. Amos Otis. Otis, my man, with a leadoff walk. And back come the Royals. Joe Zed. 1-2-4, control. He's got semi-control. Desire Dice says not this time. Is he eager? He is semi-eager. we got to re-roll the Desire to see if he's eager or not. He is not. So he's going to walk. So back-to-back -back walks. And now Moyer, that's the last thing the Moyer want to do is start walking, guys. 
But two consecutive walks bring up Daryl Porter. Three, four, six, three, four, six. Blank for the pitcher. Is he eager? No. It's another walk. So he has walked the bases loaded. So all of a sudden, uh, Moyer can't find the strike zone. It's also in purple, so we're going to the... Hold on one second. A cat interruption at the door. Okay, so, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my cat. Not Tabby, but a different cat. Uh, Tabby's actually been good for a change. Alright, so the walk to Porter was in purple, so we're going to the chemistry chart for the Frank White at bat. Both teams, again, are semi-harmonious. Space is loaded, nobody out. Philly's laying back, trying to turn two. They're both neutral now. 2-5. Two, 2-5. Five. Two, five. Pitching team dissonance. No, they're not dissonance. So it's a fly out to right, and on a lead die of two, uh, let's see here. Active runner on third scores on a fly out. Others hold. Uh, Amos Otis is semi-active, so we're going to have to re-roll the desire die to see if he's active or not. He is not, so he has to hold. So it was not deep enough. It was not deep enough as Jason Worth got it back in here in a hurry. One away. And that brings up the top of the order and Freddie Potek. One out, bases loaded. See if they can turn two on Freddie Potek. One, one, three. Ace or dynamic? No. Slugger? No. It's a single to center field. There are two asterisks that say if he's a sad sack or a home run king, he strikes out. He's neither one, so it is a single to center field. Lead die of one. You get one base. So everybody's going to move up one base. RPI single by Patek. will score Otis. Cuts the lead to three to one. Bases are still loaded with one out for Hal McRae. So Moyer is in trouble. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Control. Moyer's got semi control. Desire Dice says he has control. So on a two, four, six, let's check and see what this says. For the bases loaded, bases loaded and lead die of two, fielder's choice, runner on third scores is what it says here. So, so they tried to turn two and they couldn't quite do it. It's a one six fielder's choice that will get Patek. But McCray beat the relay on the fielder's choice. And that's going to score Joe Zed to cut the lead to three to two and send Daryl Porter to third. So Porter's at third with two down. And that's going to bring up George Brett. 255 star. He's a semi star. The side guy says he's a star, so it's a strikeout. Although Brett does have a good eye, so he will not strike out. Instead, he grounds out. And let's see who he grounds it to. He grounds it in front of the plate to the catcher. So Coast will throw to first to get the out. But it's a two run inning for the Royals, and they have cut the lead to three to two. So now both pitchers having some rough outings. Here's Jimmy Rollins, top of the order. 255, is he a star? Yes, he is. Struck him out. He does not have a good eye, so the strikeout will stand. Rollins takes the whiff. Here's Shane Victorino. 366, I've done it again on that pinch here. It's the third time I've done that, so it's a fly to center for out number two. Brings up Chase Utley, 344. Not a prospect. Is he patient? No, he's not. It's a pop out to second. And that's going to end the inning. So five innings in the books. And it's a three to two game in favor of the Phillies. And that'll bring up Al Cowens. This is the last inning of semi freshness for both pitchers. So Al Cowens will lead it off 2 4 4. Is he an ace? No. Is he a champion? He is a semi champion, but the sire die says no. So it's going to ground to short. He's not a whiffer. So Rollins will make the play. One away. And that brings up John Mayberry. 146. Does he have flash? No, he does not. Is he a champion? He's not a champion. So he will ground to second. So Utley makes the play there. Two up, two down for Joe Zed. I'm sorry, for Amos Otis. Card stuck together on me. Amos Otis, the batter. Famous Amos. 244. He's not an ace. Is he a champion? No, he's not. Grounded a short. He's a semi-whiffer, so he's actually going to strike out. So Otis down on strikes, and Jamie Moyer has a quality start. 
Six innings pitched, two runs. And that'll bring up Jason Worth here in the bottom of the sixth. Leonard, one, two, four, control. Yes, he's got control. It's a ground out to short. One away, and that brings up Ryan Howard. Three, three, four, ace or star, and he is a star. So that's going to be a pop out to first. Mayberry will make the play. Two down for Pat Burrell. Two, four, six, control. Yes, he's got it. It's a ground ball back to Leonard to end the inning. So it's a three to two game, and we're going to start the seventh inning. Now, both pitchers are out of freshness, so we may be looking at some bullpen activity. Uh, let's see, do they want to let Moyer continue, or do they want to go to the bullpen? You know what? They're going to go to the bullpen. It's one, only one game, so you might as well use your bullpen. So Moyer's going to go six innings, and he's going to allow one, two, just two hits, but he walked four. That was his Achilles heel, was walking the four. Gave up the two runs, and he struck out four as well. So... The line on Moyer, six innings pitched, two hits, two runs, four walks, four strikeouts. And the new pitcher will be Ryan Madsen. So for the Phillies, Ryan Madsen will be coming on. He is a star, semi-flash with control. He will not get the ace quality because you have to start the inning to get that. So he will be facing Joe Zed, Porter, and White. But Zed may be coming out, and I think he will. They're going to pinch hit for Zed with outfielder Tom Poquette, who is like the platoon guy for the Royals. Their left field platoon is a, a Zed against the lefties and Poquette against the righties. So Tom Poquette will pinch hit and will stay in the game to play left field. And his defensive ratings for Poquette, he is semi-gold. So that improves their defense for sure. He's semi-stoic and he's a semi-prospect. So Poquette will be coming on to pinch hit to lead off the bottom of the seventh. New pitcher, new batter. So Ryan Madsen against Poquette. One, two, four. Does he have control? Yes, he does. It's a ground ball to short. So Madsen does the job on Poquette. One away for Daryl Porter. 1-2-6. Is he fresh? Yes. Line out to second. So that's one where Moyer would have probably given up a base hit because he wouldn't, wouldn't have been fresh. And now there's two down for Frank White. 1-1-4. One, one, is he fresh? Yes. Ground out to short. So that, that relief pitching brought that freshness, which was very important because Moyer probably would have given up some hits there. So we got the seventh inning stretch. There'll be no singing. There'll be no ukuleles. As I don't have any ukuleles, I'm not about to sing. So that's going to do it for the uh, Phillies, or the Royals rather, in the seventh. And there, uh, actually, Dennis Leonard is going to come out as well. He will exit the ball game as he goes six innings. Let's check his totals real quick. He also walked several, hit a batter, and let's, actually he only walked one, but he hit a batter. Uh, let's see, but he gave up the three runs all earned. How many strikeouts? One, two, three, four. Got him for four strikeouts. How many hits? One, two, three, four. So nice outing for Dennis Leonard. And new pitcher for the Royals will be... Let's see, they've got some righties coming up, it appears. So they will go to right-hander. They will go to right-hander Mark Littell. Mark Littell is a semi-star with flash qualities. Mark Littell. So Mark Littell is your new pitcher for the Kansas City Royals. Check the line on Leonard. Six innings pitch, four hits, three runs, one walk, four strikeouts. So bottom of the seventh we go, still three to two Phillies. And Pedro Feliz. We'll lead it off against Littell. Again, Littell, semi-star with flash. Oop, bumped the camera there. Semi-star with flash. 
156, is he a whiffer? He's a semi-whiffer. Decider die says no. Outfield drama. Outfield drama for the Royals. In the outfield, Poquette is semi-gold. Everybody else is neutral. 3-6. Left fielder stoic. Well, how about this? Paquette is semi-stoic. Decider die says he's stoic. So that's going to get by him for a single. So, unfortunately... While he was a better gold fielder, he was slower, so that caused the base hit. So sometimes you win and sometimes you lose when you make these changes. And it's in purple, so we're going to the chemistry chart for the next at bat. Both teams semi-harmonious, and Greg Dobbs, the DH, steps in. Oh, I, I'm sorry, it should be a two dice roll, my bad. Chemistry chart. All right, 3-3, three, three, they're both harmonious. 3-3, three, three. pitching team distance, no, it's a ground out to first. And on a lead die of three, it's a fielder's choice. That's a 3-6. Mayberry to Patek covering. One away. Dobbs is safe at first on the fielder's choice. And that brings up Chris Coast. 1-1-5. One, one, is he fresh? Yes, it's a pop out to the infant of our choice. We'll say he pops to Brett. Two down. Jimmy Rollins, 2-4-5. Blank for the pitcher. Is he a hero? He's a semi-hero, but Desire Die is a blank. So instead, he's going to pop it up to Frank White to end the inning. So nothing doing for the Phillies. And that's in red. We would normally go to the experience chart, but we're going to have a pitching change. So that will override the, pitching, the uh, experience chart. So Madsen will come out. He pitched one inning, didn't give up anything. But now we're starting the eighth inning. And going to the eighth inning, they are looking to Clay Condry. Clay Condry will be on. And they got Brad Lidge for the ninth if they still have the lead. But Clay Condry will be coming on. He is semi star with control. Clay Condry, semi-star with control. It's also a semi-icon if that comes into play. So Condry is on to pitch. He'll be facing top of the order, Freddie Patek. McCray and then Brett. Two, four, five. Is he a hero? He is, Patek's not a hero, so he will pop it up to second. That is in red, so we're going to the experience chart. And Condry is a semi-icon. McCray is an icon. So semi-icon against an icon on the experience. 1-1, one, one, prospect pitcher. No, he's not a prospect pitcher. If he was, it'd be a fence check. Otherwise, strikeout. So he struck him out. How about that? Big strikeout there by Mr. Condry. Two up, two down. And now that sends up George Brett. And it could be Brad Lidge time in the ninth. We'll wait and see. Brett. 466. 466 control. Yes, he does have control. So it's a base hit by George Brett. Two out single for Brett. And that brings up Al Cowens. 225. 225 star. He's a semi star, but the sire dice says no. Slugger or sad sack? He is a slugger. So that means he's going to pop out to right field unless he's a whiffer. He's not a whiffer, so he flies to right. Worth's got it. Innings over. So we go to the bottom of the eighth. Still three to two. We'll have a new pitcher on for the Royals. So Condry went one inning, gave up a hit, nothing else, got a strikeout out of it. And for Latell, he went one inning, gave up a hit, nothing else. And now as we go to the bottom of the eighth, new pitcher in for the Royals will be the left-hander, left-hander Steve Mingo, I'm sorry, left-hander is going to be Larry Gura. Larry Gura, the lefty, is on. Larry Gura. He's got the icon quality, so I want to have him in there. Uh, Mingori did as well. Could it, they're kind of carbon copies, but I'll go ahead and use Gura. So Larry Gura is on. Be facing Shane Victorino. Chase Utley and Jason Worth here in the bottom of the eighth. Three two fills. Whoa, triple fives. Ace or star. He is a semi-star, but the cider die says no. 
Is he a scrapper? No, he's not. So it's a home run for Shane Victorino. So I'm sorry, I looked at I looked at Clay Condry. I, Gura does have the full star quality. My bad. Gura does have the full star quality. Not semi star. So since he's an A star star, he is a star. It's a deep fly out to right. So got a little bit excited for Rob there, but he is a star, so no home run, just a deep fly to right. Here's Utley. 126. He is fresh, so it's a line out to second by Utley. Two down, and here's Jason Worth. 246 control. Yes, he does have control. It's ground ball back to Gura, and that's going to end the inning. So we go to the ninth. Last chance for the 77 Royals, and they'll have to do it against Brad Lidge. And Brad Lidge comes in ace and flash. So ace and flash, but he does not have control, so that could be a, something that hurts him. He is an icon. Ace and flash. So Brad Lidge looking to Secure the save and save this 3-2 ball game for the Phillies and for Rob, exclamation point. So we have Mayberry, Otis, and po Poquette. Mayberry. 1-2-6. Is he fresh? Yes, it's a line out to second. So being able to change these relievers and get the fresh quality really is helping them. Here's Amos Otis. 2-6-6. Six, six. Run on first, thrown out. Nobody's on first. He's not the leadoff batter. So you will fly to right field, and that's two away. So we're down to the last at bat, Tom Poquette. Last hope. 2-2-3. Two, two, Is he wild? No, he's not wild. He's got, he's got no quality as far as control. Slugger or utility? He's neither one. So he's going to single to left field. Active runner steals, but he's semi-stoic. So it is a single by Poquette, and we might get a pinch runner for Poquette. Because they need some speed on the base paths. See what they've got that can run. Uh, probably not a whole lot. They have some guys that are neutral. That's better than being semi-stoic, I guess. So they're going to go with... They're going to go with... Uh, boy, who do they want to go with here? They're going to go with Joe LaHode. He's going to... Take over as the runner because he is neutral versus being semi-stoic. And if it does go to the bottom of the ninth, he will take over in left field. So now two outs, runner at first, 3-2 ball game, top of the ninth. Lidge against Porter. Porter is 0 for 2, a walk strikeout in line to second. 3-3-5, three, 3-3-5, three, five. Three, three, five. is he wild? No. Sad sack, no he's not a sad sack. It's a single to right field, stolen base, but he's stoic so he won't steal. But it will be a single. That will put runners at the corners with two outs. So a two-out rally by the Royals. And all of a sudden now Frank White is up. And we could get a pinch hitter for Frank White. Uh, so they're going to bring in Pete LeCock. So Pete LeCock is going to come on and, and take the center square. And he will come on and pinch hit for Frank White. So Pete LeCock. And if they do go to the bottom of the ninth, they do have... Uh, Cookie Rojas could play second base. So Pete LeCock in to pinch hit. Runners at the corners, two outs, top of the ninth against Lidge. 2-2-3, two, two, wild, no, the same role we just had. Slugger or utility, no. It's a single. How about that? That's going to tie the ball game at three. So Brad Lidge, a blown save. Runners at the corners again. And now Lidge has given up three consecutive hits. He is now a semi-struggler. To try to hold on to face Patek. One, two, six. He is still fresh. It's a line out to second. But we go to the bottom of the ninth, tied at three now. As Lidge blows the save. All right, now Gura is going to stay in there for another inning. He is now semi-fresh. Facing Ryan Howard. 136, he's not an ace. Is he whiffer or cold? He is a whiffer. So Ryan Howard gets the whiff. Brings up Pat Burrell. Burrell, 122. Two. Workman. No, he's not a workman. Champion or whiffer? He is a whiffer, so that means he's going to nub a single to third base. So Pat Burrell gets a cheap base hit on the infield. Keeps the inning going for Pedro Feliz. 246, does he have control? Yes. 
ground out to the pitcher. It's a fielder's choice. One to six. Feliz takes over at first. Now there are two outs, and it's up to Greg Dobbs, or we have extra innings. Three, five, six. That's the lefty-righty split. First time it's come up all game, and, and it happens to be lefty against lefty. I thought about pinch hitting for Greg Dobbs, but he has such a good card. I figure, what the heck, the lefty-righty is not going to come up very often. And as soon as it does it, it bites me in the butt. I could have... I could have pinch hit with a with a Eric Bruntland, who's not very good anyway, or Ruiz, who's not very good. So wouldn't have made a whole lot of sense. He just got jammed up on the left-right split. So it's a strikeout. Lefty on lefty. That's a strikeout. Circle K. So we're going to extra innings. And we will need a new pitcher for the Phillies as Brad Lidge blew the save. So thought they had that one in the bag. But when you think that, then this is what happens to you. So Chad Durbin, the righty, is going to come in for the Phillies. Star was semi-flash. Lidge, blown save. Had a rough outing. Gave up three hits and a run, which was earned. And didn't strike anybody out. Didn't walk anybody. Just gave up the three hits. All singles. So now top of the tenth we go. Al McRae leads it off. 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Ace or star, he is a star, thank goodness, for the Phillies. So it's a deep fly to right. And that's one away. Here's George Brett. 2 three, six is double control. He does not have that, so it's a walk to Brett. One out walk to Brett. That brings up Al Cowens. Oh, and Cookie Rojas is now playing second base. I forgot to mention that. When he was pinch hit for by Lecoq when uh, White was pinched for by Lecoq, so Rojas is now at second base. So Cowens, one, two, three, flash and fresh. He, nope, he's not flash because he's semi-flash. The side eye says no, so instead of a strikeout, it's a ground out to short, and that's a double play, so it actually worked out to his advantage. Six, four, three, Lee Dia one is always a double play on those ground balls, so when you got a force play, so that's gonna do it. We go to the bottom of the 10th, and that will be all for Gura, he will leave. And Doug Bird will be coming in for the Phillies. Doug Bird, the right-hander. Or will he? No, you know what? No, they're going to go to Steve Mangori instead. Steve Mangori. Steve Mangori is in for the Philly, for the uh, Royals. Gura pitched two innings. And let's see, did he give up anything? He gave up a hit. No runs. Uh, walks and strikeouts, uh, struck out two, didn't walk anybody. And one of those strikeouts was the left-right split strikeout. So now Chris Coast. Chris Coast will lead things off for the Phillies. It'll be Coast followed by the top of the order, Rollins and Victorino. Bottom of the 10th, tied at three. Two, four, six, control. Mingori does have the control quality. So Coast will just ground it right back to Mingori for out number one. Brings up Jimmy Rollins. 2-3-6, double control. He does not have that. That's a walk to Rollins. So Rollins is aboard. And now that sends up Victorino. 3-6-6, six, six. he's not a pinch hitter. That's like the fifth time I've used that or hit that roll. And that is a fly out to center. Of course, I didn't hit it when I was had a pinch hitter in the game. It just happened here. So here's Utley, last chance, or we're going to the 11th, 3-3-4, three, three, ace or star. He is a star, it's a pop out to the first, Mayberry feels it. And we go to the 11th, still tied at three. And I need to make sure I put Mingori in, I'm sorry, uh, Cookie Rojas in there. Cookie Rojas. So Cookie Rojas is semi-stoic and an icon. And neutral on his fielding. So let's make sure I have all the particulars in there. All right, gets Lecoq out of there. All right, so Durbin now, semi-fresh. He only faced three batters, so they're going to go ahead and let him keep going because you don't know how many innings this may go. Here's Mayberry. One, five, six. Is he a whiffer? He's a semi-whiffer. Decided I says it, so struck him out. So one away as Chad Durbin gets the job done. Here's Amos Otis. 4-4-5. Four, four, workman. No, he's not a workman. Is he patient? 
He's semi-patient, but the sire dies a blank. So instead he grounds it to first. Ryan Howard makes the play. Two down, and that brings up Joe Lahode, who came in to play left field or pinch run for Poquette, and now he stays in the game to play left. Lahode, 3-5-5. Three, five, five. Struggler or Gilded? No. Champion? No. Ground out to second, but he is a whiffer, so Lahode will go down on strikes. That's going to end the inning. We go to the bottom of the 11th. And that's going to be it for Durbin. He goes his two innings, does his job. And if it goes to the 12th, lefty J.C. Romero will be coming on for the Phillies. Right now, Mangori is going to start his second inning of work. Facing Worth. 2-4-6, control. Yes, he's got it. It's ground ball back to Mangori, one away. So Durbin goes, before I forget, Durbin goes two innings, a walk and two strikeouts, but no hits or runs. So he certainly did his job. So Worth is gone. Here's Ryan Howard. One swing of the bat could end it. 1-5-6, but he is a whiffer, so he will strike out. Two down. It's up to Pat Burrell. He's a semi-homer and king and a semi-slugger. 4-4-5. He's not a workman. Is he patient? Yes, he is. He will draw a walk. So Pat Burrell, two-out walk. And he's reached base three times. Here's Pedro Feliz, semi-home run king. 2-3-6, double control. That's another walk. So back-to-back -back walks with two outs. And Greg Dobbs facing another lefty again. Now the question is, there's no way he can hit the 3-5-6 again. It's just not going to happen. So I'm going to leave Dobbs in there. There's no way I'm rolling another 3-5-6. 1-3-6. If that was a 5, I would have done it. 1-3-6. He's not an ace. Is he whiffer or cold? Well, since he struck out his last at bat, he's cold, plus the fact he's a whiffer. He will strike out, and we're going to the 12th. So we go to the 12th. That's it for Mingori. He pitched his two innings. He's done. So Mingori goes two innings, and let's see. He walks three, strikes out two, but doesn't give up any hits or runs. So we go to the top of the 12th, getting to be a battle of attrition, and lefty J.C. Romero, he's star and flash, and an icon, he'll be facing Daryl Porter to lead things off. It'd be Porter, then Rojas, and then Patek. Four, five, six, blank on the pitcher. Is he patient? No, he's not. It's a fly to center. One away, and now we've got Rojas coming up on the chemistry chart. Both teams semi-harmonious. Now they're both neutral. 2-3. Pitching team harmony. No, they're not harmonious. If it was, marginal pitch would catch the corner for a strikeout. Otherwise, it's a walk. So Rojas draws the one-out walk. And that's going to send to the top of the order. And Freddie Patek. 1-5-6. Is Patek a whiffer? He's a semi-whiffer. The sire die says he's a whiffer. So Patek struck him out. Two down. Here's Hal McRae. One, three, four. Goal catcher, no. Is he a champion? No. Outfield drama. So outfield drama for the Phillies. And in their outfield, Worth is gold. Victorino is semi-gold. Burl is neutral. One, four. One, four. Right fielder, gold. Worth is gold. He's the only one. He makes a incredible sliding catch. So Jason Worth laying out, makes that catch, and we go to the bottom of the 12th. New pitcher coming on for the Royals. It'll be Doug Bird. Doug Bird with semi-flash and control. And he'll be facing Chris Coast. Chris Coast will lead it off. 1-2-2. Two, two. Workman. No, he's not a workman. Champion or whiffer, he's a whiffer, so he's going to nub one, get that cheap base hit to third base. For Chris Coast, he will do it. He is stoic, but I don't think they have anybody on the bench that can run, so Bruntlett is semi-active. You know what? They're going to pinch run with Eric Bruntlett because he's semi-active, and then Ruiz will come in to catch, so that's the way they're going to play it. So Coast will leave. Bruntlett comes in. He is semi-active, and then Ruiz will catch if it goes to the 13th. So Bruntlett is on to pinch run at first base. Rollins is up. Do they bunt or do they let him swing away? Hmm, they're going to let him swing away. 
355. 355, struggler, no. Champion, no. Ground out to second on a lead die of three. It's a fielder's choice. So five, uh, four to six ground out, fielder's choice. Rollins is the new runner. And the new catcher now will be Ruiz. He will take over behind the plate in place of Coast. And Ruiz defensively is, well, nothing, it's just stoic. Everything else is neutral. All right, here's Victorino. One out runner at first. Flying Hawaiian, one, two, six. Bird is fresh. It's his first inning. So it is a line out to second. Two down, and we're one out away from going to the 13th inning. Chase Utley. One, three, three. Is he a slugger? He's a semi slugger, but the decider dies a blank. Would have been a walk-off homer, but instead it's a fly out to left around the warning track. And Poquette makes the catch. We are going to inning number 13. J.C. Romero will now be on for his second inning of work. J.C. Romero facing George Brett. Start the 13th. 4-4-5. Four, four, Is he a workman? No. Patient? No. It's a ground out to first. Handled by Ryan Howard. One away. Here in the bottom of the or top of the 13th. Here's Al Cowens. 3-6-6. Six, six. Boy, I've gotten that roll so many times looking for the pinch hitter. It's a fly to center. Two down. And other rolls I haven't hit at all. Just the way it works out. 1-5-6 is Mayberry a whiffer. He's a semi-whiffer. The side eye says no. So we got outfield drama for the Phils. Outfield drama for the Phillies. 1-3. Again, center fielder iron. Center fielder is not iron. Center fielder Victorino is semi-gold. So he makes a lunging... Uh, if he was iron, he would lunge for it and miss. Otherwise, he makes the lunging catch. So Victorino was able to put it away. And now we go to the bottom of the 14th. Or 13th, rather. Still tied at three. Bird, second inning of work. He's now semi-fresh. Is Mr. Bird. And that's going to be all for Romero if they have to go to the 14th. They'll bring in a new pitcher, Rudy Sienez. Here's Jason Wirth. 3-5-5, five, five. struggler no, champion no, ground out to second, but he is a whiffer, so he will strike out. Worth is gone. It's Ryan Howard. 1-2-3, flash and fresh. He's semi-flash, decided I gives him that, and he's semi-fresh, decided I gives him that, so it is a strikeout. Two down, otherwise it would have been a ground to short, so it wouldn't have mattered. Here's Burl. Five, five, six. This could be interesting. Five, five, six. Is he an ace? No. Is he a sad sack? No. It's a double to right field. So a two out double by Pat Burrell. And he's gotten his third hit of the game. And it's up to Pedro Feliz to bring him home. Pedro Feliz can do it. Two, five, six. Struggler, no. Champion or patient? Neither one. We have infield drama for the Royals. Infield drama for the Royals. Brett is gold, white is semi-gold, everybody else is neutral. 1-3, third baseman, iron. No, Brett's gold. So he's not going to be an error, it's going to be a routine ground out to Brett. And we're going to the 14th inning, my friends. As 13 is not enough, apparently. So we go to the 14th, and I've run out of spots on my pitcher chart for pitchers. So I want to write in somewhere else, I guess. Rudy Cienez. The right-hander. And once we get past CNS, that's it for their bullpen. They'll have to go to a starter. Probably a Joe Blanton or a Brett Myers or a, somebody like that. So we'll see. The Royals still have Marty Patton. Patton will come in to pitch the bottom of the 14th, regardless of what happens. Marty Patton will be coming on to pitch in the bottom of the 14th. So Patton will be on to pitch. But right now, top of the 14th, it'll be <clears throat> Cienez. Let's do the totals here on Romero real quick. For his two innings, he walked one, struck out one, didn't give up anything else. So no hits or runs. So now top of the 14th we go. A.O. Amos Otis. And we can blame all this on Brad Litch for blowing the save. It's his fault. 1-2-2. Two, two. Workman. No, he's not a workman. Champion or whiffer, he's a semi-whiffer. Decided I says he's a whiffer, so he gets that cheap hit to third base again. That's happened several times. So he's aboard for Joe LaHode. 
Lahode 112 Flash. CNS has semi flash, but the sire dies a blank. Sad sack. No, he's not a sad sack. So we got to check with score. And that means we're either going to have a hit or an error, depending on what the score says. It's a three, which says base hit off the glove of the third baseman. So, or first baseman, rather. It doesn't matter at this point. Single. And since the lead die was a one, it's just a one base advancement. So runners are at first and second with nobody out. Here in the top of the 14th, is this the inning the Royals break through and make their comeback? Daryl Porter. 3-4-6. Blank for the pitcher. Is he eager? No, he's not. It's a walk. That's going to load the bases now with nobody out. And they're going to have to bring the infield in. They have no choice. They cannot afford to give up any runs. Cookie Rojas, the batter. A weak hitting second baseman. 3-4-6. Is he eager? Yes, he is eager. It's a sack. It's a fly ball to center field. Uh, let's see here. Stoic runner on third base holds on fly outs. Other scores. So if the runner on third is not stoic, it's a sack fly. The runner on third is is Lahode, and he's not stoic. So he will score on the sacrifice fly. So little Cookie Rojas gets the sacrifice fly to center field, and the Royals now take a four to three lead. One out, and here's Patek. One, three, four. Gold catcher, no. Champion, no. We got outfield drama for the Phillies. Outfield drama for the Phils. Five, six. Left fielder, iron. Left fielder is Burrow. He is not iron. So it's a fly out to left, and the runners will have to hold. Two down for Hal McRae. And now... Marty Patton looking to try to save the game for the Royals. 146 flash for Cienez. He's got semi flash. The side drag gets it to him. It is a strikeout. However, if Hal McCray does have a semi good eye, nope, not this time. He will strike out. But here in the 14th, the Royals take a one run lead, four to three. And it's all up to the bottom part of the order. It'll be Dobbs Ruiz. And then Rollins. They could pinch hit for Ruiz with Jenkins, but then they have nobody else to catch. So they're going to have to live with it, I guess. So Marty Patton will be coming on. We'll do the numbers on Bird. He went two innings, gave up two hits. And he struck out two. No walks and runs. Don't know about seeing as yet, because you don't know if we're going to go past the 14th inning. Right now, bottom of the 14th. Kansas City leads at 4-3. to three. Here's Dobbs against Patton. 2-2-4. Two, two, Pitching at home? No. He's on the road. Is he a slugger? He is a semi-slugger. The side of die says no. So, but he's still going to single to right field. So Greg Dobbs, a leadoff single. And it's in blue, so we're going to the right now chart. And Patton is cold. And Ruiz is neutral because this is his first at bat. So we had a cold pitcher against a neutral batter. 1-6. Hot pitcher. No, he's not a hot pitcher. Otherwise, it's a batter lines clean single pass second base. So it's a single by Ruiz. And that puts two on with nobody out for the Phillies. So can the Phillies come back and win it here in the bottom of the 14th? Here's Jimmy Rollins. Four, five, six. Is he patient? No, he's not. It's a fly out to center field. Out number one. That's in purple. So we're going to the chemistry chart for Shane Victorino. Both teams are harmonious. 1-3. Pitching team harmony. Yes. Infielder makes stabbing, uh, makes diving stop stab of a hot liner. Otherwise, it would have been a base hit. So who's the infielder that made the stab? The pitcher. Well, that doesn't make any sense. i got to get a shortstop or somebody like that. Not the catcher. Come on, give me something. Uh, give, me, give me another number besides one or two. Come on. All right, third base. That's what we'll go with. All right, so a liner to Brett. That's two down. And that keeps Ruiz at first base. And finally, Chase Utley, last chance. Mr. Utley, 3-5-5. Five, five. Struggler or Gilded? No. Champion. No, he's not a champion. He's going to ground to second. He's not a whiffer, but he's going to ground to second. Rojas throws it over to Mayberry. And the ball game is finally over. The Phillies blow it. Or should I say Brad Lidge blows it. And the Royals win it in 14 innings by the score of 4-3. to three.
in 14 innings. The winning pitcher was Doug Bird with his two innings, and Patton gets the save with his one inning, and in the one inning he gave up a hit, nothing else. No strikeouts. Seeing as I couldn't even write him in the, I put him here, I guess. I, there's not enough room anymore. I used too many pitchers. So seeing as takes the loss. Uh, let's see, he went one inning. Did seeing as gave up three hits. I'm sorry, two hits and a walk and a run and a strikeout. So, so for the Royals, three, six, eight hits. So for the Royals, four runs, eight hits, and no errors. For the Phillies, three runs and eight hits, or actually nine hits. Three runs and nine hits and no errors. So there it is. Um, sorry, Rob, that the Brad Lidge couldn't hold it, but uh, he uh, had some control issues in the ninth and just uh, couldn't get it done. But hopefully you enjoyed the game anyway, seeing your 2008 Phillies in action on History Maker Baseball. And... Hope you will go check out Rob's channel. That's Rob with an exclamation point. That's the name of the channel. Go check him out. Uh, give him a sub if you haven't done so already. And uh, check out some of his videos. There's a lot of videos out there, whether it be racing or baseball or wrestling or, I mean, just a variety of things. Golf. So all sorts of things. Check him out. Give him a like and a sub. And until next time, enjoy playing whatever game you choose to play, however you choose to play it. And as usual, I'll see you all down the road.